Contender number four in the Fit to Box Fitness Glove World Cup. And we have from RDX the F4. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. I'm Coach Simon and here on fit to box channel I bring you all things boxing equipment. Today I have got contender number 4 in the fit to box Fitness Gloves World Cup for gloves under 30 English pounds or under 35 US dollars. Okay, in previous videos I have introduced contender number 1, the M33 Star Pro. Contender number 2 from Outshock and being sold in Decathlon, that glove there. And then contender number three in the last video I did, which is the Everlast Spark. All of those gloves under $29.99 or the 30 English pounds. So you will also know from the last video that I had to replace, in the first couple of videos, I did have this one in the background. This one has actually gone up in price. Uh, it's gone up to $35.99. So it no longer qualifies for this World Cup. So I had to take that glove from RDX out and replace it with this glove here, which is the RDX F4. And as I bring that round, this is $29.99. There is loads of different colours in this glove. And it's made of calyx skin myohide. Okay. Uh, which is synthetic leather. It's not an actual animal, uh, unless you can send me a picture of what a Maya hide is. Uh, but yeah, it is synthetic leather. Calyx skin Maya hide is what they call it. And in there you have got that multi-layered padding. And also these come in 8 ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce, 14 ounce and 16 ounce. Let's have a closer look at these gloves. Okay, so these are the RDX F4. And as with most RDX gloves, you've got RDX there, you've got RDX there, you've also got Giant inside down the bottom, you've got some uh, little signature thing there, you've also got a little feature of the gloves there. As I bring it round, you've got the F4 Ultimate Grip on the thumb, and bring it round, and you've got there another logo on there, and bring it round. As I say, these are made with Calyx Skin Myohide, and in there is a five-layered, multi-layered, they call it grids padding that is on that knuckle area. The knuckle area is like quite a, a squarish knuckle area. When we come on to that thumb, you've got, again, you've got an attachment there, which again will be made out of calyx skin, myohide. And then as I bring it around, you see there is no air holes on the front of that thumb. Then I come on to the face of the glove. You can see there's lots of air holes. In the middle of that glove and then you've also got the grip bar which is a very soft grip bar there as I bring it round so I'll show you the velcro and that's a really good strong velcro there and they've gone with that attachment there now remember this is a £29.99 glove so that is quite a feature for that glove again as you look on the inside there a plethora of little badges that RDX try to put onto their gloves and then on the inside of there as well again you've got another gel X that's on the inside there you've got this elastic that goes through that loop there and then that fastens across the rear like so and then let's have a look at the stitching so the stitching on these gloves you've got a seam that goes all the way up the middle of the punch surface You've got, as I come around, you can see it's, uh, some good stitching on there actually. And then I'll show you the line as well. Very good sticky Velcro there. And then, as you can see, we have, as always with RDX, we've got a label that is in there. And then you've got that lining, which has got RDX on the line as well, which I think is a nice touch. So that was the final contender looked at. That's all the contenders we've had a look at. I haven't done full reviews. I've given you a really good look 
around the gloves. I haven't done fit to box ratings cards because that would give away the result of the World Cup that I'm doing. So now I need to do the draw. So I'm going to just put that to one side. I've got the four gloves here. I'm just going to put them towards the front and then I'm going to do the draw. So I have uh, put on four pieces of paper. Okay, there I've got them. I'll just randomize them. Okay, I have no idea. Okay, I haven't got anything in my hands or up my sleeves. I, I don't know. I think I probably lost one there. Okay, so I'm going to pick one out. And this is going to be semi-final number one. And this is, the glove is going to be Everlast. The Everlast Spark is the first semi-finalist. I'll put that there. So the Everlast Spark. And they will face, as I move it around again, again... I'll look over there for all those conspiracy theorists out there that think that I've cheated everything. Here we'll go RDX. So that is the first semi final Everlast Spark versus the RDX F4. That is your first semi final. And that means that the second semi final will be between. And just to show you that uh, I'm not cheating in any way, Star Pro is going to be that one, and then the other one, Outshock, to show you their semi final number two between Star Pro M33 and the Outshock from Decathlon. So the next video that I bring to you will be semi final number one. Everlast Spark versus RDX. And then the video after that is going to be between semi-final number two between Star Pro and Outshock. The winner of each of those semi-finals will go through to that coveted final, the Fit to Box Fitness World Cup final. And the winner of that contest will be crowned Fit to Box Fitness Glove Champion. And will get the belt which will be featured on my website fit2boxchannel.com and then all the other gloves that I've ever reviewed that have been underneath that £30 cost point will be listed in that division and any gloves between 31 English pounds and 50 will then be the featherweight division so the featherweight division will then become between 36 US dollars and 60 US dollars Okay, so that will mean that the featherweight division will get crunched a little bit to make room for the fit to box uh, fitness glove division that will be at the bottom. So we have our contenders, we have our semi finals, and I will bring them to you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit to Box channel, and I shall speak to you soon.